Si me te siempre estás conmigo Despacito Quiero ver tu cambio Vengo despacito Hey guys Welcome Back to my channel I know New hair If you guys haven't seen my vlog yet Which Yeah so if you haven't seen my vlog, go check it out, because um, I'll show you my day and how I got my hair cut. So, yeah. So if you guys know by the title of this video, you already know. So let's get to it. Okay, so I have a lot of lipsticks. Like, no joke, I have a lot, a lot, a lot of lipsticks. So, let's... Um, Let's, let's, uh, let's get started. So I'm gonna go from lightest to darkest, and then I'm gonna show you, um, my liquid lips, lipsticks that I use. So that's the only ones I use, so those will be last. So yeah, let's, let's get into the first one. So the first one I'm gonna pick here is this one. It's like a bubblegum pink, and this one's called Dollhouse Pink, and it's from Wet n Wild. It's a gorgeous, 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 gorgeous pink. So I'm going to swatch it on my hands, see what it looks like. I'll have a close-up, because you can barely even see it from there, so don't worry. I'll have a clip of it close up so you guys can see so that's what this looks like and it's a perfect Barbie pink lip if you know if, it's actually perfect for the spring and summer um, I wear this sometimes occasionally it depends on what I'm wearing or what mood I'm in you know it depends so there's this one and the neck oops I'm dropping stuff Okay, the next one here is like a dark pink, kind of. And this one's called Don't Blank Pink. It's like a hot pink color. It's very, very pretty. So, this one right here. Again, I'll have a close-up of it, so don't worry. So, that's what that looks like. And I like this one. It's very, like hot pink if you're going for that bold look I like it again I wear this with whatever I'm wearing um a little nice you know bold bright not too bright but that perfect pink that you want to wear with your outfit and this would be perfect for that occasion and the next one again is somewhat dark, kind of similar to the hot pink one, but a little bit darker in a way, similar to that one. And this one's called Hot Paris Pink. So this one's more like, you know, a hot pink. So, yeah, so there's that one in the bottom. Very, very like has like a tone of red in it slash a pink so um this one is just the perfect color that you know is just if you're looking for that red pinky tone look and um again I should mention that if this is your type of if it goes with your skin tone I would definitely get this if not just stick with the lighter or darker lipsticks that go with you. I like this one. Um, I wear this again occasionally but I do like wearing this during the summer and it's just that bold pink that just you know like yeah I'm gonna rock this color so there's that one. This one is more like a dark berry pink and this one's called smoking hot pink. This is like like a very dark pink that's just like perfect for 
you know, that rebel look, that's what that looks like. And it's just like, whoo, like, yeah. I'm looking at you. Mm hmm. Yeah. You see me, I see you. So, yeah, this is like the perfect if you're going out on a date kind of lipstick. Um, or you're just, hey, why not? I'm being bold today. I'm going to wear this. So, this is a perfect going out with your friends or on a date kind of lipstick. So, I like this one. It's my favorite. Alright, these next ones are kind of dark, but almost to the brown color. So, the next one I'm going to show you guys is um, this one. It's called Will You Be With Me? This is like a light, light, light pink. Like almost like a nude pink is, is what I'm trying to get at with it. So here it is. Yeah it's, yeah, it's more like a nude pink, which I like. I like wearing that all the time because it's just like a simple pink to wear. So I wear that all the time. But I mix my lipsticks. Like I wear one and one night wear the other one the next so yeah there's that one if you're into the whole simple nude pinks and that's all you wear that would be perfect for you so there's that and last but not least there's this one and this is the pink ice this is more kind of a uh, sort of dark kind of lipstick more of a sheery lipstick if you can say it's not matte it's more sheer kind of like a gloss so there's that one this one would be perfect for just you know if you don't want too much of that uh, matte lip and you just want a little bit of gloss this one would be perfect it has that glossy glittery tone to it so I wear this occasionally hence the name it's called pink eyes because it has that you know gloss in it so I like this one I wear this um, when I don't feel like putting any lip gloss or something to make it shiny, so I wear this one. So yeah, so there's all my pink, or should I say light, colors that I wear during the um, summer and spring. Now we're going to get into like the dark colors, like the browns, the reds. Actually, I should mention... Um, I do wear red lip color during the um, spring, so don't think that, oh, I can't wear red, it's, it's more suitable for the fall. No, you can wear red during the summer too, so don't, don't think you can't. You can. So yeah, so just letting you guys know. So, so yeah, just letting you guys know. Blah, blah, blah. So you guys should know. So now I'm going to go from the browns, reds, purples. So yeah, let's get to it. So I'm going to start off with this one. And this one's called Breezy Breeze. Breezy Breeze. And this is more like a pink slash brown color. It's like what I'm kind of looking at. It's more like a, yeah, like a brown pink. So there's that down there. You can barely see it, but there's that. And this is also a sheer glossy lips lips lip color um, again if you don't want to wear like a simple matte lip you just put this on and you have like a glossy shiny lip color so this is perfect for that occasion if you don't want to put lip gloss on your lips I like how girls want to put make their um, lipstick look like glossy but yet color well this one's perfect, so you don't have to put lip gloss over it. So there's that one. All right, and then we're gonna start. Okay, that. Ew, I got crap on it. Okay, wow. Jeez, get together. All right, so the next one is this brown color, and it's called Java Java. This is a beautiful brown. So that's what 
that one looks like. Very perfect brown. I love this um, color to wear during the fall. I love wearing brown colors because it's just so beautiful and it depends on your skin tone and it looks really great with your skin tone but again it depends on your skin tone so I like this one I wear it mostly during the fall um, but it's just a perfect perfect brown so there's that one and the next one here is called bear it all I love this one okay I have to put it on this side now because I'm running out of room Okay, so that's what, oh, can you see it, can you see it, it's hard, I know you can't see it, but again, you'll have a close-up, so yeah, that's what that one looks like, and this is a perfect, perfect nude brown, I love this one, I wear it all the time, it's like my go-to brown, like you have no idea, this is like my go-to brown every time during the fall. It's like my absolute favorite. I love it. Okay, so this one here is a perfect dark chocolate brown. And this one's called Mochalicious. So, that's what that looks like. God, this is so hard to do. So that's, when, that's what that looks like. And this is like the perfect, perfect dark brown. Again, I wear this all the time if I'm going for like a dark chocolate kind of lipstick. And uh, this is amazing. If you're into whole like the dark, dark, dark brown, this is perfect for you. If you're into like the whole dark, dark browns, highly recommend getting this one. And last but not least, in the brown family, this is called Mink Brown. And this is like, like a brownie brown. And I haven't even used this one yet, so I can't really tell you what it looks like because I haven't used it. But as I can, as you can see, it is like a perfect brown. Like a dark brownie. Yeah, oh my gosh. Um, wow, that's pretty. Okay, I haven't used this one yet, but by the looks of it, it is just, oh, it's really pretty. Can't wait to use this one. I haven't used it yet. I have so many lipsticks that it's just, I couldn't go through them all or wear them all, so, yeah. I don't think this is my last brown, so don't kill me on it, so, yeah. But that one's called Mink Brown. That's a beautiful brown. I haven't worn it, so, yeah. Okay. Okay, you guys, I lied. I still had two more browns. <laughs> See, I have too many lipsticks that I can't even keep track of. Jeez Louise. Okay. Okay, there's this one. This one's called Bronze, and this is from the... What is this? Oh, Maybelline Collection. And this is like, ooh. This is a sheery brown. Let's pull it in. So that's what that looks like right there. And I haven't, well, I guess I use this once, not once, but I, I think I use this all the time when I was in North Carolina and I bought this because I didn't have any lipsticks when I was living with my sister. So I just, I legit had to get more. <laughs> so yeah, I got this one and it's beautiful and it's legit like a bronze, like, color. It's like bronzy glittery wow I like this I have to wear this again wow I have so many that I can't even keep track of okay last but not least brown and this is called satin toupee um, and this is a pretty color I haven't even worn this and this is from Milani collection that's what that looks like right there. Again, I haven't even worn that one too. I'm gonna wear that again. So yeah. So many. Okay, now it's on to the 
um, reds and dark um, purple colors. So yeah, I'm going to start with the reds and heading towards the purple color. Okay, so um, I have two red lipsticks that are the same brand, but they're 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 in a different tube. So this one is in a different style. I'm gonna show you. This is what it looks like. And um, this is called Spotlight Red. And this is like a kind of berry pink red, which I like. It's kind of like a wine red. Yeah, right? Like a wine red. And I love this one. I wear it all the time. But the sucky part, every time I wear red lipsticks, they always tend to smear off and get everywhere. So that's like the sucky part of wearing red lipsticks because this one smears. But I love it. I love wearing red in the summer and the fall and winter. So it's, I, I love wearing red. So there's this one. And then there's this one by Wet n Wild, but it's, but it looks like this, like the simple shaped lipstick. And this one's called Hot Red. So what that looks like. And it kind of looks similar to the one next to it. Yeah, see, they kind of look the same. But one's more glossy and one's more matte. So there's that one. Okay, the next one is Blind Date. And this is more like a berry red. Down there. And again, this, this lipstick is more glossy. I'm trying to show you it's right there. This is more glossy, but it's really, really pretty. I like wearing that one if I want that gloss look. But me, I, I like wearing glossy kind of lip colors, but I like that. So the next one is Cherry Bomb, so this is a cherry color. I'm going to put it on this side because I'm running out of room. So there's that right there. This is the Cherry Bomb, and this is like the pretty, 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 like, dark um, purple lipsticks, which I love, 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 love wearing dark lipsticks. It gives me like that vampy, rock and roll kind of style look, which I love. So there's that one. And the next color, oh, I forgot to swatch this one. Wow. I forgot a pink one, you guys. There's this pink one. Okay, we'll just gonna show you this one because I forgot about this and this one's called Pink Sand which is from Maybelline so I'm just gonna swatch over here because my oops my brain just forgot all about it so there's the pink sand so yeah okay moving on forgot a pink okay so the next one is called Toucan Red another red this is like a dark dark red and this is from Maybelline. I'm gonna swatch it down here. This is like a orangey slash red color, which is really, really pretty. So there's that. And I had to switch through that because I'm trying to remember what ones I have. Okay, the next one is Do the Mango. And it's like this dark red, brown. I think it's a dark brown, I think. I think. <laughs> or a red. It could be a dark red. I don't even know. 
let me know your opinion, but I think it looks like a, like a dark red slash brown color. I guess it's the hint called Mango, Do the Mango. It's like a mix of red and orange, but that's a beautiful color. I do wear that occasionally. Okay, the next one I have here is called Raven Raisin, which is a purple color. And um, that's what that looks like. It's a perfect purple. It's like a perfect, like, vampy purple. And I love it. So there's that. Again, if you're into the whole, whole um, purple colors, I highly recommend getting those. Because I love them. I love the whole dark, vampy look with the dark reds too. It's kind of like vampy looking and I love it. Perfect, perfect purple. All right, last but not least, I have here is the Fifth Avenue Fuchsia. This is a fuchsia. It's um, kind of like a pink slash purple color and um, I don't wear it as much. I don't know why, I just, I don't know. It's more like purple slash dark color but that's what that looks like it's a pretty fuchsia I love it um, I love every single lipsticks here but I don't wear them all because it's like I always stick to one lipstick which is kind of hard to do when you have so many dang lipsticks that you just don't remember you have so you have to remember oh I have to wear these because I have so many and it's hard to choose so honestly when it comes to lipsticks I try to use them all but again you just stick to one that you just can't help but use all the time and you forget about the rest but yeah so those are my lipstick collection now it's time to show you my liquid lips sticks which I love and I'm wearing one right now. And the liquid lipsticks that I'm talking about are the Kylie Jenner mini lip kits. Her birthday edition ones. So the first one here is Exposed. This one is the brown color and it's a beautiful liquid color. So pretty. So that's what it looks like swatched on. Um, I'm gonna show you guys later on what they look like when they're dry. So this is what they look like when they're wet. So once they start drying, I'll post um, a photo of them dried. So yeah, but here's what Exposed looks like. And it's a very pretty brown color when you have it on. So I like it. It is suitable. Um, when I put these on, my lips, they dry instantly. They're not sticky. So again, for being fakes, they're, they're pretty good quality. So yeah. So this one right here is um, Dulce K. This one's supposed to be a beautiful dark brown. That's what it looks like swatched on. I'll have a close-up too, but again, once they're all dried, I'll have a photo so you guys will know what they look like when they're dried. So that's what it looks like. Okay, and the next one I have here is Coco K, which I have on right now. I have on Coco K. And this one, technically, Coco K is supposed to be like a pink color. Um, I try to look at it online on what it really really looks like so I'll have a picture inserted somewhere right here to show you the real Coco K and this Coco K so you'll know the difference in color. So that's what Coco K looks on swatched. And I love wearing Coco K because, again, it's supposed to be like a pink color, but it's kind of dark, but I love it. 
Okay, so the next one I have right here is Candy K. And this is supposed to be like a light, I think like a light um, nude pink, I think. And that's what it looks like swatched on. I don't know if you guys can tell the difference between Coco K and Candy K. They kind of look the same. That's just my opinion. I think they look the same. But I think they kind of look different. I don't know. It just might be me. Um, again, I'll show you a picture side by side of um, uh, Candy K and the real Candy K close together. So, again, the these two kind of look the same to me. They might be different, I don't know, but right now they kind of look the same. But, I don't know. To me, they kind of look different. They could be the same, I don't know, but that's what it looks like swatched on. So the next one here is Kristen, and supposedly this is supposed to be a red color, and as you can see, it's doesn't look like a red color. It looks more of a brown color. So, <laughs> so we already know these are fake. That's what Kristen looks like on swatched. Again, this is supposed to be like a red color and it's not. So, this is Kristen. And last but not least, Leo. And Leo is supposed to be like a brown color. Which it is. Look, it looks like a brown color swatched on. Doesn't it look like a red though? I don't know. It looks like a red to me. But yeah, so there's all three. Oops, where am I pointing? All three of it on. All, all three of it all swatched on my hand. Um. So yeah, that's what they look like. I do love the kit because they're kind of almost true to the original, but as you can see, Kristen does not look like a red, even though it's supposed to be a red, it looks more like a brown, but yeah. So those are those swatched on. Sorry guys, my memory got too full. So anyways, this is what all the swatches of the Kylie birthday kit looks like so there you go there's all oops, I'm probably getting lipstick all over anyways but yeah that's all my lipstick collection I hope you guys enjoyed um sorry if it took too long for me to explain and swatch but um yeah if you guys are wondering where I got all my wet and wild ones you could actually get those at CVS or Rite Aid because I got mine at Rite Aid. If you have a Rite Aid, I highly recommend. I highly recommend going there and getting these lipsticks if they still have them. Um, I just love every single one of them. Um, if you can find the Milani ones online, um, I think they sell them at Rite Aid. I'm not sure, but I know they sell them online. Um, the Maybelline, they still should have the Maybelline ones I showed you. And as for the Kylie Birthday Lip Kit Edition, I got that on eBay. Because I know she doesn't have those anymore. But you can get, the, um, I think the ones that I showed you from Kristen, she's, she has those on her website. You can get those if you want to spend that much money on her lip kit stuff but I prefer you going the cheap way and getting her fake ones if if you can find a fake her fake ones on eBay that look similar to her real ones go for it because these actually do look kind of like her real ones but I hate to tell you they're they're the knockoffs so if you want to go on eBay take the risk of getting her knockoffs be my guest um good luck trying to find um, actual lip 
colors that look like hers. I got lucky that the one that I got kind of looks similar to her real ones. But yeah, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed my video and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye. Oh, what a fail. Okay.